Hello and welcome to my aqua kitchen. Today I'm going to be making golden graham s'mores and these are the ingredients I'm going to use. In this bowl right here I have 8 cups of golden graham cereal. In this bowl right here I have 10 ounces of jumbo marshmallows. In this container here I have 5 tablespoons of unsalted butter. In this bowl right here I have uh, one cup of mini marshmallows and in this one it's actually caro syrup it's one fourth a cup and then in this bowl I have two cups of milk chocolate chips so on the stove you're going to have a big pot and it's going to be over medium to low heat you're going to want to put the five tablespoons of unsalted butter in the pot and then you're going to want to take the um, marshmallows and you're going to want to just dump them all in and then you're going to want to take the one fourth cup of <clears throat> caro syrup and you're going to want to dump that all in there and then you're going to want to stir it often because you don't want it to stick to the pan and you don't want the marshmallows to burn so you have to keep a really close eye on it. And then I'll come back with the marshmallows melted. In a second pot on the stove you're going to actually want to use a double boiler. Basically that's a pan on the bottom with water in it boiling up and then going to have a second on top of that. I have a clear bowl in here and basically what it does is it keeps the chocolate from burning. You're going to take your milk chocolate chips and you're going to dump them in there so that can boil and you're going to stir that often also so you don't want the chocolate to burn. Um, you can use the microwave. Um, you just stick the chocolate chips in the microwave um, for 15 seconds and you have to let it stop and keep stirring it every 15 seconds until it's melted. So this is what the marshmallow mixture looks like when it's all melted down with the caro syrup and the butter. And then this is what the chocolate looks like after it's really yummy and glossy. What the heck? In a large bowl, we're going to mix the golden graham cereal. And then you're going to take the uh, chocolate mixture and you're going to stick it into the marshmallow mixture. Go ahead. So you take the chocolate and you mix it in with the marshmallow mixture. Then you make sure and get all of that in there. Um, when you do move the chocolate into the marshmallow mixture, you're going to want to be very, very careful because it's hot. That's why I had to switch um, bowls was because the other one was about to burn my hand off. So you just stir it around like that really good until it's all incorporated and then you're going to want to dump it on top of the cereal mixture. And then you take the chocolate mixture and you dump it on top of all that cereal. Then you're going to want to take your time incorporating that in, but you have to work kind of fast. I moved it to a pot because it's better to work with. So also you want to dump in the mini marshmallows at this point and just keep stirring. Alright, so the mini marshmallows are in. And then you're going to want to take the mixture and dump it into a pan and then as best you can you're going to want to spread it out um, I have it lined with parchment paper and um, it's easier to use a parchment paper since it's non-stick um, I greased the parchment paper also with a little non-stick cooking spray which that also helps 
but it's really easy to smooth out the mixture when you use the parchment paper this way spreads out a little bit more better and it should look like this when you pretty much have it smoothed out I'm going to take it and put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to 45 and then I'll come back and I'll cut it up for you and I'll show you what it looks like so it's really cool and ready to cut up um, this is how easy it is to move out of the pan with the parchment paper. So right now I'm going to actually cut them up and put them on a plate. So I'm just going to take a knife, a sharp one, and cut along here. And try and cut them in, as individually as I can. But this is what it's going to look like when you're done chocolatey and marshmallow on top and they're done they look pretty good and they actually taste really good if you ask me they're all served up and they make really delicious treat no bake and it didn't take very long at all thank you very much for watching my video please comment rate and subscribe and if you get a chance, check out my Facebook page that will be in the link at the bottom. Thanks. Have a wonderful day. Bye.